Hi guys. Um, just left uh, a contact of mine that uh, he goes to some storage auctions. He goes to yard sales. He goes to pawn shops, and um, he buys a lot of stuff. And uh, when he comes across stuff that he thinks that I can use. He contacts me and says, hey, I got this today, I got this. And uh, a lot of times, <laughs> uh, I go there and stuff doesn't work. So, you know, it's it, when you buy stuff at storage auctions and flea markets and, and yard sales like he does, um, you know, many times you don't have the, the chance to, to test things. So he buys them like, for a dollar or five or whatever and he contacts me and he makes a little bit of profit uh, on me and I buy it and if I can fix it well then that's good if not I sell it for parts for a little bit of profit but I just uh, stopped by his house he texted me uh, yesterday and uh, I said I could stop by today and I did and uh, I got some really cool stuff this time and uh, I had a chance to plug things in at least they power on but that's the only thing I could do um, so I got some mixers, some speakers, and some guitar amplifier and, and a 4x10 cabinet guitar uh, guitar speaker. Uh, it was a Fender cabinet and some Line 6 amplifier. I got some Bose speakers, they're called uh, Inter Audio by Bose. So um, small, small, small speakers. And then I got a couple of other small mixers and uh, one was a realistic the other one I no clue what the name of it was I didn't check uh, so uh, yeah I got that I'm heading back to my store I'm gonna stop and get some lunch I think I'm in the I think I'm in for some fries and hot wings but uh, once I get back to my store I'll, I'll show you guys what I got um, you know this is the uh, this is the hustle that you have to go through every freaking month. Try and find gear that you can resell. And uh, at the same time, try and find gear that, that works. Because you can't end up buying everything being for parts and repair. Because then you're going to run into a wall sooner or later. So hopefully... He, he, he said that he had had someone over to check the guitar amp. And he said it worked. It has some cosmetic things here and there. But... Um, let me see, I think this is the road I have to take. Yeah. Uh, so the, the cosmetic things I can I can fix fairly easy. So he said that someone that he knew came over, brought his guitar, and hooked it up and, and played on it. So apparently the guitar amp and the, the 4x10, 4x12 cabinet work, and and that's where the majority of of money will be. The other stuff is not that big ticket items. Most of them are like hmm, you can get. 20, 30, 40 bucks here and there. So, um, I'll uh, get back when I get to my store and shoot the second half of this video. Take care. Okay, guys. Um, I'm at my store now. Just had lunch. Feels good. Um, had hot wings, and that, that makes my sinuses run. Um, really good hot wings. Memphis best. Um, so I'm gonna start pulling things in and we can see what, what we got, okay? I need my little thing. There it is. And you know what, I forgot my keys. So here we have two small mixers. Uh, one is a realistic, uh, just a small one. And um, here we have another mixer. This one is missing a power um, power adapter, nine volt. That's easy to find. 
The brand is Vanco uh, MM1. I have to look that one up. I haven't heard too much about those. And here are the little Bose speakers called Inter Audio. They're in fairly nice condition. They are in nice condition. Let me see what model it is. I have to take the screen off. Because on the outside, all it says is Inter Audio. It's the SA200. Oh, they're in nice condition. So that was the uh, Inter Audio by Bose SA200. Probably somewhere around 60, 70, 75 bucks. Here is the Line 6 guitar amp. So, um, where the hell do I put it? <laughs> Ooh. I'll put it here now. I'm also waiting on someone to come and pick up that 18 inch subwoofer. Uh, he said it was going to be in a couple of hours, and that was like an hour and a half ago. So, I get that one out of here. That will free up a lot of room. Nice deal. as hell um i mean on the back of my truck in the sun it's a sure mixer sr101 uh-uh we'll have to see what that is holy crap that metal is hot now to the big boy is the uh, oh lord fender 4x12 cabinet so let's get that one in there there. I'm running out of room I tell you, those hot wings really put my sinuses to work, that's for sure. So, little overlook of what we got. We got a Line 6 guitar amplifier. We got a Fender 4x12 slanted cabinet. We got <coughs> Bose Inter Audio speakers SA200. We got a Vanco. Six channel universal stereo mixer, the model MM1, and then we got a realistic uh, stereo console mixer. I can't see any model number on it. 
There you go. 32-1200B. These small mixers are very handy to have. And even very handy for a home setup even. Because what you have is... Like here, you have the main out, tape out, and of course three mix in. And then you have outs in, tape in, uh, two phonos. Uh, and they're separated by uh, ceramic or magnetic. So if you have a home setup and you have multiple um, electronics, a little mixer like this can come in handy if you don't want to spend like um, a huge chunk of money on a very, very well equipped preamp. Because basically mixers are they are they are like a combination of, of a preamp and a mixer you know you, you, yeah a mixer can do a lot more than a regular preamp but a mixer is in itself kind of like a preamp in many ways so if you don't have a preamp or you don't have the budget to buy one uh, but you can find a cheap mixer huh, go with a cheap mixer if you want to it does the same job and uh, this one even had the VU meters, so that's pretty cool. Um, I like stuff with VU meters on them. I, I, I'm a sucker for VU meters. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the analog or the digital or the spectrum analyzer thing or whatever. It, it, as long as it has something that, that kind of like shows the sound and the, the dynamics of the music and stuff, I'm a sucker for that kind of shit. Um, that was it. Um, didn't pay too much for it, but I'm not gonna never, <laughs> I'm not gonna sp spill the beans on that one. How much I paid, um, but I, I I got a good deal. I got a real good deal. Um, but also, it's not about just getting a good deal because this guy has been so good to me, and he he works his butt off, and um, he needs to he de he deserves to and needs to make some money. So I. When he when he contacts me every now and then, I know he's been running around in the heat, going to flea markets, going to yard sales, pawn shops, storage auctions. I know he's out there running his little butts off, and uh, trying to get things to resell to make a living. Um, his wife works, but he doesn't, because I think he's disabled or 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 have some problems with his back or something. So, so you know, I I like to help him out if I can. Um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna overpay or, or every time I buy something from him it's gonna be like a charity thing but I like to give him a fair price and I believe that that in the end it's it's a circle if you treat people fairly and you treat people good um, and and you don't you know beat them down on price every freaking time sometimes I haggle with him if I think that he's too high on things I tell him you know I can't do much with these things for this price. I'm sorry, um, but I can I can do it for another price, and then I give him a price, and we, we, we kind of like agree on something at the end. Um, but most of the time, he has fair prices, so I don't have to do that. Um, and I believe that if I if that's how I treat my connections and my suppliers uh, on the uh, on the vintage side and the used side. Well, at some point that's going to come back and, and, and benefit me when, when I try to sell it further on. Um, I believe there's a circle um, and, um, you know, people contact me via eBay, via Reverb, email, and they see things that I have listed and they, they're like, hey, I'll, let's say I have something listed for a hundred bucks and they say, hey, I, I'll give you 80 with free shipping. And I say, hey, I, I would love to help you out, but you know what? On this item, I can't do it because my profit margin on this item is gone if you, if I do that, and especially if I offer free shipping, because what people don't realize is that when I when you list things on Reverb and and, and eBay, and especially eBay, um, eBay have a seven percent fee on ship all the shipping costs that you charge. So let's say I charge uh, 100 bucks in shipping for something really heavy, then eBay is charging me seven dollars on the hundred. So basically, my shipping is only 90. What I get in shipping is 93 dollars. Then 
uh, PayPal comes and they take their three three percent. So I don't a hundred. My total fees that goes away is ten bucks. So basically, on a hundred dollar shipping charge, I'm only receiving ninety. Um, so then I have to pay buy and pay for packing material, which is not free or not cheap. And then the actual shipping and handling and all that stuff. So um, so sometimes people contact me and say, hey, I can give you this much. And uh, you know what? I, I try to operate with fair prices. Uh, I sure try to operate with fair shipping prices. Um, but uh, sometimes you have to educate the buyers because they, 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 they kind of see things their way. And, and they, they don't see the, the back or... Uh, the back office or the back things of, of things so yeah they can see a thing listed on eBay for like maybe 500 bucks and and hundred dollars shipping um, and then they say hey I'll give you 450 shipped um, you know if my profit already on that product only is a hundred bucks if I do that I'm gonna lose money so so sometimes I can't do it sometimes I, I have items on there where I have a little bit of wiggle room and they they maybe say, hey, I see you have this item for a hundred bucks. Will you take sixty shipped? I don't know. No, sometimes if I if I have a little bit of wiggle room, I'll come back to them and say, hey, I can't do sixty free ship, but I can do eighty free ship. Um, and if they say, nah, that's a little bit too much, blah blah blah, blah. then I can say, okay, if we do eighty and I take ten dollars, fifteen dollars off the shipping cost, that that way I'm swallowing most of the fees so then so, sometimes ebay is not just like okay people are bidding people are buying sometimes you're doing haggling on ebay even so 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 um it, it is uh <laughs> an art to do to deal with these vintage things and the used stuff so let me get ready the dude should be right around the corner to pick up the subwoofer and uh, so um i'll talk to you guys later